Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this rather quick lesson by our standards on YouTube, we are going to focus on a very strange kind of independence. Mostly when you work on hand independence on the piano, you say left hand does this, right hand does that. So normally when we practice hand independence on the piano, either the right hand has to do maybe some chord patterns and the left hand has to accompany it with the roots playing a bass line and so on. Or vice versa, the left hand will have to play a chord pattern and the right hand could play chords or a right hand could also play melody. So if you're doing this stuff day in and day out on the piano, you need to first check if you're actually getting this process right. Are you actually playing on time with the song? Are you actually playing towards the metronome or with the metronome? As a recording artist, playing with a metronome is very important. Or are you prepping up for a gig about to get into a jam room with some musician friends and do you want to be absolutely rock solid on time? So this lesson will do something a bit weird. It will take away one hand or maybe we will use both hands but it's more going to be independence between the hand and the voice. So we are going to try and sing something with the voice. It's more a challenge. So it's a good exercise to develop your ear, to develop your chord knowledge to because you have to sing this stuff and also a great independence workout. Because I, I really feel if you can sing it while playing something on the piano, then playing it is always going to be easier. So that's what we are going to work on. That hands are going to play a pattern and then our voice is going to sing something which is obviously not going to be the same pattern. We don't want to sing exactly what we are playing on the piano. So let's get cracking. Before we do, it will be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button somewhere there on our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell icon for regular notifications. And all of the notes for this lesson as well as lessons in the future and the past will be available on our Patreon page. You'll get my handwritten notes, you'll get staff notation, backing tracks, MIDI and a lot more supplementary learning material. So do consider being a patron starting at just $5 a month. So let's look at a pattern first which I'm going to teach you throughout this lesson. It's called as the Thresio. Thresio as it generally means or implies by the word three of something. So it's a three beat pattern very commonly used in salsa and to dive way more in depth into the Thresio I've done two Thresio exercises already waiting for you on our YouTube page. We've done a lot of salsa videos and we also have structured members only courses where the salsa rhythms are covered in great detail. We'll link you up with all this in the description. So let's just start with a chord progression or rather just a single chord. B minor seems to work. I quite like B minor. B, D, F sharp. There we go. So the hits of Thresio would be at if we divide the beat into two units and say one and two and three and four and that would mean counting eighth notes. Eighth notes divide the pulse or the quarter note or the head movement into two units. So you go one and two and three and four and now where do we want to hit the B minor chord? That could be done at the Thresio points. So first let's get it at the one, two, three, four and say one and two and. This is also an important form of hand independence, saying and counting the numbers while you play. So let's play the piano on the pulse. One, two, three, four. And now say the subdivisions as well. 
1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and and you could also play the ands now in the right hand 1 and 2 Go back to pulse, pulse or quarter notes with the head. Move your head. One and two. Eighth notes. One and two. So let's develop a chord progression while we are at it. So we take B minor, which we already learned. We take E minor, the second chord, and then. A major which is the third chord and you're in luck the fourth chord is just back to good old B minor so B minor E minor A major D minor quite a pop progression B minor for all of you theory people this would be the one chord of the B minor scale this would be the four chord of the B minor scale E Then we go to the seven flat major, which is A major, and then come back to B minor. Okay, so let's play that now in pulses. What I like to do is play staccato for the first three and legato for the last beat. You could also use your pedal to play that last hit. So. If you want legato, legato, pedal. Try the eighth notes as well. Count two and three and four and one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four. By the way, I'm I'm playing my chords with inversions. so that you can glide between them better so b minor e minor a major b minor it's notated for you if you read sheet music you can check it out um also you can study about chord inversions we've done so many videos on the subject we'll link a playlist with a collection of videos in our description so let's now start something with our vocals the first thing we are going to try and do is find chord tones of each chord which we need to try and sing out loud so this is going to be a little bit of a ear training challenge so if i play this what are the chord tones the chord tones will be two that's a b then d that's the third and f sharp that's the fifth okay b d f sharp in order so if you didn't know that it's okay you can follow along but it's an interesting or an important skill to have b d f sharp those are the possible chord tones and the root is b of the chord b minor then we go to e minor very similar to b minor it has the b in it that's common but the root has changed to e and i'm voicing it on the piano as b e g b e g okay b e g again coming back b d f sharp b e g now a major i'm playing in root position a c sharp e a c sharp e root third major third perfect fifth and then come back to b d f sharp the first exercise would be with your voice and with your piano would be play the chords and sing one note as a semi brief pretty much for the entire bar so a semi brief is a whole note and it lasts four counts for the entire bar so i'll just demonstrate it and then tell you what i'm doing so find a single chord tone and we are going to sing it as semi brief so to to quarter notes in the right I sang F sharp, G, E, and F sharp. I could sing something other than. 
I was singing the higher notes of the chord, which is kind of easy because you hear that uh, the highest note, highest frequency hits you hardest. So sing the maybe the lower note of your piano. Or you could move, do the middle one. That's D, E, C sharp, D, the middle notes. Or you could play around with this. You can sing all sorts of notes. Not all sorts of notes, just within the triad, which is just three notes any of the three move from here to there just jump around and have some fun before we actually get started with the thresio pattern also encourage you to sing minims if you feel like your voice is sounding like a mosquito so you could start singing uh, two, one note which lasts for two counts each so let's see how that goes two But what's fun with minims is you do a different note in within the bar, a different chord tone. So you're, you've sung one and you're left with two more options. So you choose one of those remaining two. Uh, B, D, E, G, A, C sharp, D, F sharp, F sharp, B, G, E, E, C sharp, and if you like journeying in other directions of the pitch, lower or upper, you can skip even further. Something like F sharp, B, G, E, A, A, F sharp, B. You can go within the octave. B, D, G, E, A, A, B, F sharp, B. Okay, but ultimately what I'm singing is governed by what chords I'm playing. I'm never going away from the chord tones or the three available options. We are playing triad, so chord tones. So practice singing that as semi-briefs and minims. Also with the pattern for today's lesson, which is the thresio pattern or the three beat structure, I'm going to teach you the Thresio for this lesson since our goal is, we have a lot of goals. So I'm going to teach you the slow Thresio or the eighth note version of the Thresio, which basically would be hitting at one and two and three and four and one and two, three hits Thresio. So one and two and three and four and one and two and, and four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and and a nice way to develop independence even away from the piano is you could do the pulse with one hand and you could do the tressy on your leg or on a table somewhere you know one and two and three and four so with my right hand i'm trying to play the tressy one and two and three and four and no left hand yet and so so far the left hand's not doing much now let's bring in the left hand one and three and four one and two and three and four so you can develop some independence even away from the piano and two. you don't actually need the piano to develop hand coordination as you're seeing here one and two and and four so those hits are what we are going to do in the right hand for now let's see how that goes one My left hand, if you can, is holding the pulse. Dum, dum, 
tum 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 pulse quarter notes mum pam 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 and the right hand goes thrice over that pam pa pam pam pa already a very good independence thing to do to work out your hand coordination but if you're not getting it confidently let's go back to just the thrice hits in both hands so but now you need to count and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 3 and 4 and and right 1 and 2 and 3 4 or you can just keep the left hand held at the one only as a semi brief Ideally, keep the pulse in the left hand and do the hits in the right hand. As I'm uh, filming the video, you can also observe that I'm not able to talk very fluently while playing the chords, and that's a fact. That's another kind of independence, if you will. Hence, singing is a very important goal to have. Now. Let's get the singing back to where it used to be. Uh, it was doing semi breves and minims. So what's going to go on with our two hands? The left hand could play the pulse if it can, or it can just hold down, and the right hand plays the thrasio. And what what's going on with the voice? The chord tone. Two, two, two. minims trying or stick with semi breves same chords to minims 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so at the 1 and the carried away with some other chords but you get the idea it's the same logic now eventually we need to build up to a point where the voice sings the pulse and that's the lesson pretty much but before we do that let's now do thrasio with our voice and pulse like how we used to so let's go back to counting the ands would be very helpful 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 And three and four and one, two and three and four and now with the voice, we need to try and do the thrasio. Again. So that's the thrasio with now. the voice right tum 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 with some other chord tones tum 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 now there are three hit points so you don't have to just sing one note you can sing three notes so maybe the notes of the chord which it is tu ru ru tu quite like that tu
what's going on with the voice the voice did the tresio which the piano used to do what is the piano doing when the voice does the tresio the pulse that's your challenge right there and then the final challenge or the ultimate challenge would be something which even i find rather tricky is to sing the pulse which seems easy tang 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 but sing the pulse while the piano whichever hand or both hands is doing the tresio so that will be kind of the final variation of this lesson so if the right hand is doing tresio let's go back to the tresio pam 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 and then voice that's minims semi breathes minims that's your pulse with your voice and retain the chord tones Your challenge was you sing the tresio, and play the pulse. Not sing the pulse as I did now. Play the pulse on the piano. One has to keep telling ourselves from time to time. You have to switch this around. You could start with the piano and then slowly bring in the voice. At semi breathes. and finally the tresio you you don't have to sing as high as me you can just try and sing in whichever octave you wish right i just try to give you different ideas for the chord tones right guys so that was the exercise for you the main goal of the exercise is to try and tackle or keep tackling hand independence in different ways I've done a lot of lessons which I think are unique for our channel also in the recent times we've done hand independence with a bunch of bass lines in the left hand obviously where the left hand plays bass and the right hand will grow towards playing a melody do an exercise or play an actual song so we leave a few links in the description that is also an important way to practice hand independence but practicing in this style gets your voice going which i think is the toughest form along with maybe a bass line here and a melody there that's also quite tough so you need to tackle hand independence always coming from different perspectives this hand does that that hand does that but in this lecture hopefully you're finding some use of the singing with hands and if you're a singer songwriter if you're a piano player who sings like me from time to time it's important to be able to sing and play before you walk into your jam room or before you record or before you gig before you go for a performance because you never know if you're going right or wrong the audience is there in front of you that poses an additional challenge and so on and all of these exercises all of these variations are going to be notated and it is waiting for you on our patreon page you'll find the link in the description do consider heading over there and uh, maybe practicing the lesson over a you know a couple of weeks maybe if you're not getting it instantly right and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon for regular notifications again this is jason zack from nathaniel thanks a ton for watching the video this far until the very end and i will catch you in the next one cheers